Hello, this is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. All right, we're moving on with the next rite, rite three, which is going to be connecting with Mama Simone. And she is an Apu mountain spirit, and this is going to connect to our solar plexus. There's freaking Alcyon again. Alcyon's been very excited throughout this. She was in the first video. Yesterday when I did the activation, she was at my leg being like, what's up? Alcyon is Alcyon, the, the great central sun. Alcyon is my Pleiadian little wiener dog. And um, she's she's here. She's making herself known. So the star from the Pleiades that we're going to be connecting to tonight is Maya. And is the star of identity. And the mantra that connects with the solar plexus is Ram. So you can... Use that mantra to strengthen your solar plexus power. You can use that mantra to help you while you're meditating and connecting to the star, Maya, who is a beautiful star. Ha, huh, Asiyan. She's very, very excited. Very distracting as well, I've noticed. But yes, let me talk to you about the goddess of our ancestors, Mama Simone. And that's been happening today, too. Every time I start recording, one of the dogs is sneezing. I did like a nice little thing earlier where I, I did the end of the ritual and then I did a voiceover and I, and afterwards I listened to it and I can hear the fucking dog sneezing. So it's because of all the pollen. I, I Everything in my house is our, uh, yellow this time of year. doesn't matter how much time I spend cleaning it, it comes right back. But yes, anyways, Mama Simone is the goddess of our ancestors. She is connecting us with the ancient feminine lineage our ancestors connecting with our roots, coming home to find ourself. This rite enables us to connect not only with Mother Earth, but also to achieve a deeper connection with ourselves and with the land that we call home. The benefits of this rite, or connecting with Mama Simone, is self-esteem, positive self-image, personal power, independence, happiness, being in touch with one's own gifts, alignment with our personal cosmic path, releasing of dependencies, lack of confidence, lack and self-condemnations, hostilities, and aggressions. All right. And Nawikoto, or Maya, is connected to the solar disk or solar plexus. And this star relates to our identity, and it helps us to remember who we truly are and our purpose in this life, all right? So when I do this, this is a very simple one. There's no, like, other stuff added. We don't have to do any despachos. We don't have to do any, um, like, flowerings and things like that. It's very simple. So what will be happening when you purchase this right is I will be doing, like, a little meditation aspect where we're going to call on Maya. And we're going to call on Mama Simone. And we're going to work with the mantra, Ram. We're going to call on the yellow chi ball to support us in doing this transmission long distance. And this is going to help us to drink the sweetness of self. This is going to help us feel more beautiful, more confident, more stable. Figure out who we are and why we're here and what we're doing. Right, Sirius? What are we doing, Sirius? I can pick up serious. I can't pick up Alcyon. Alcyon freaks out when you pick her up. She thinks you're going to do something to her. She thinks you're going to try to clean her ears or try to look at her mouth or just do something she don't want to do. So I've got to go down to her level and then she'll climb all over me. But when it comes to just picking her up, she's not a fan of it. So I try not to do it. She's a deaf dog. Alcyon is a deaf dog. But serious, serious knows what's up. Right, serious, buddy? What's up, serious, buddy? You have the wiener? Yeah, he's having a wiener. He doesn't always look like it, but he is. All right, he's a very serious dog. Um, he's from the Star Sears. Anyways, we're going to also be asking and saying, I wish to receive Maya into my solar plexus. And we will be installing the infinity symbol to infinitely activate and connect with that energy to amplify our confidence and our strength. 444. I saw 444, 333, and 111 while I've been doing this video. Anyways, 
Um, you'll become more conscious of the spiritual realm. You'll become more conscious of your new identity. You will have the space to be aligned and expanded into your destiny and to claim your power. This is your time of illumination. So we're going to go through meditation. We're going to go to the gatekeeper and we're going to ask to let us in. And we're going to acknowledge the four directions. We're going to acknowledge the ancestors. We're going to ask for permission to raise our vibration. And we're going to set our intentions to ask Mama Simone to come. And for the star, Maya, to come. And to strengthen us and support us. And I'm seeing all these, these like little, I don't know how to explain them. They're like spirals. Oh my God, these are the spirals of tendrils of light that she's been talking about. Okay, I get it now. I get it. She says tendrils of light several times in the homework. Um... But yeah, there will be also homework for you, which is basically to meditate and connect with Maya, which you can either do by looking at the picture of Maya, or you can, 555, or you can do um, by going outside and connecting with the stars. If Maya's not out there, you can ask one of the stars to act as Maya and ask the star to show you the one that's most significantly working with you at this time and trust whichever one comes. Um, and... We're also going to be working with our lineage stone, okay? So that's the other thing. That All right, so one, one other thing, all right? You already have your lineage stone somewhere, okay? And if you don't have, th this is the way that she did it. She's like, there's already a stone that you have that you know is significant, is your go-to stone. What is the stone that is your go-to stone? The stone that you're like, I love this stone. This is the stone that makes me feel better. This is the stone. Blah, 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 blah. And if you don't have one, get one, okay? Go outside and get one. Um, or, traditionally, people work with the golden tourmaline. I, think, I can't think of the name of it specifically off the top of my head. I'm sorry. I meant obsidian, okay? It's the golden obsidian. I'm like, let me check on that. It's obsidian. Golden sheen obsidian. If you have golden sheen obsidian, that's awesome sauce. If you don't, I didn't. I had this. This is Snowflake Obsidian, but I've had it for years, and as soon as she was talking about this, I was like, I am going to use this one. All right? So this is Obsidian. It's protective. It's black. If you have a black stone, or if you just have a stone, again, that's your soul stone. This is going to be the stone for your ancestors. This is your ancestor stone. It could be this, or it could be something else. All right? It doesn't have to be black. Could be whatever you want. Honestly, when I, I, I was thinking, because I have one stone in here that I really like, that I call my Mune Keystone, because it, it, when I got this stone, it matched perfectly to the Mesa cloth that I had at that time. I had a red Mesa cloth with like you know brown things on it. Now my Mesa cloth is is all browns, but I had one that had like the reds in it, and it really like felt like it aligned to that, you know. Um, so this is my. I've had it for years. It's not like, I don't really have one of those like I go to every day or like, oh, this is the stone that makes me feel better in, in everything. I love quartz. Quartz is like, we have a love affair going on. Uh, but, I, you know, I'm equal opportunity with all the stones. I like them. I'm also somebody that's not very much like believing in the fact that you have to have a physical representation for things. Like, hello, Elsian. When I, she just came running down here. When I, she's like, I'm the physical representation of Elsion. You want the stone? You want the stone? Mm -hmm. Hi. Can I come up and say hello? I know you don't really like it, but you can come up and say hello. Oh, she's happy. She's a happy, happy, happy dog. She's a happy, happy, happy dog. Happy, happy dog. Happy, happy, happy dog. Happy, happy dog. She's a happy dog. Happy, happy dog. Yeah, she's done. She's done. She's done. Now she's going to go hide. Um, she's weird. She's deaf. She's, I, I, that's all I can say. Is she, she's deaf, so she does things a little bit differently. Now Sirius is back. These are my star babies. I am so sorry. But yes, a lineage stone can be any stone that you have or, you know, that you, you feel guided to use for this. It could be tourmaline. It could be obsidian. Tourmaline. It could be black. It could be from the ground. It could be whatever you want it to be. But you're also also going to be working with your solar plexus stone, okay? So, my solar plexus stone is my chompy stone. 
But I also had one that is yellow for the chakra because this is the yellow chakra. But this is my ancestor stone. This is my my chumpy for this, but I still have this too. But I'm only going to be working with these two tonight while I transmit this right. And this is all you're going to need is if you have the physical items. If you And that was what I was saying too. Is like, I don't believe that you need physical items. Like when I open the vortex and I work with people, I call on the frequency that's necessary for them. If somebody is blocked in love, I call on rose quartz to come into that healing session to give them that love. If I feel that they need protection, I call on the crystal of protection to protect them. All right, but tonight, these are the two stones that I will be using to transmit this sacred rite to connect with your ancestors. If you have one of these types of stones, it doesn't have to be in this shape. It doesn't have to be big. It, it, it's better off if it fits in the palm of your hand, okay? And we're going to be... Why do I look so different right now? That's weird. I feel like these are doing something, for sure. Because I definitely feel like I look different right now. And I, this is just my regular camera on my phone. But I look, like, different. Anyways. It's my my identity. I'm feeling confident. 11-11. So, yes. Hopefully, this makes sense to you. I'm sorry if it's a little sporadic. I feel like the energy is definitely chaotic right now for some reason. But we're going to get grounded. We're going to open sacred space. And we're going to do the right, the right way. Okay? So, if you'd like to receive the right, join me. And it will be all right so i just finished transmitting the right and i realized with this one it was much shorter much more direct so instead of twenty dollars i'm going to post it for ten and it will be fifty percent off for the next few you know hours or so on so those of you who catch it within that time you'll get it for five dollars but yeah it is a powerful right and i think everybody deserves it and needs it because it's going to help you to find your identity, your truth, and to align with your mission and purpose. And if I can help you to do that, I feel like you can pay that forward to others. And you'll also pay it back to me, too, by, by showing up and being a testimonial of the sacred work that I am doing. So that is what I'm going to do. I will put it out very soon. I just finished it, but I want to let, it, let people know. All right. Be 50% off until tomorrow around like 2 p.m. maybe. I can't remember exactly what time I started the 24 hour off, the 24, 50% off sale, but I did it today after I woke up. It was 10 hours ago, and right now is 11, 11. <laughs> so 10 hours from now, yeah, like I, um, 10 hours from 11, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It was 1 p.m. All right, so you have like, oh yeah, I remember it was like 111 when I did it. And I was like, that's a confirmation to do it. Okay, yeah. So tomorrow at 111, there won't be 50% off anymore. But even with the full price, something just went off over there. Even with the full price, it is only $20, okay? Thank you very much. In your name, namaste.